Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beach bum hat which will fit vintage pepper dolls and other dolls with a head circumference of six and a quarter inches or 15.8 centimeters. This is a perfect hat for a trip to the beach. Before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download this free printable PDF sewing pattern and use the pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Ribbon can also be added as an embellishment. Now, I was on vacation myself when I made this video, so do excuse the poor lighting. <laughs> Place the small top piece against the crown, keeping right sides together. Attach the crown to the top using a back stitch from one end of the crown around to the other. If you need help with the back stitch, there's a link to my backstitch tutorial in the description below this video on YouTube. It's a good idea to leave a small gap at each end of the crown so you can join the ends of the crown, stitching them together like you see me doing here. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far and you can see that I've left kind of an extra edge right there at the end of the crown on both sides so that I can bring those together and then I'm going to stitch from one end to the other of the the crown right at its back area. And now you can see what you want it to look like once the crown is stitched. Take the larger of the two tops and lay it right side to wrong side and stitch it to the smaller top for three quarters of the way around. So to show you what I mean, right side to wrong side. So the pretty side is touching the not so pretty side and then we're going to stitch this three quarters of the way around. I like to start at the very back where the two crowns came together, the sides of the crown came together and then I'm going to go three quarters of the way around and stop. Now when you reach the three quarters point you're going to want to stop tie a knot, invert it, and then fold the raw edge under. So here I am inverting it and that's what it looks like. I'm just showing you so you can see what it looks like so far. I've got the crown in my fingers and there's that kind of gap. And what you're going to do is whip stitch along the folded under raw edge. So here I am folding that raw edge under and I'm going to try to hide my seams along the crown underneath that fold. And I'm just whip stitching just like you see me doing here. If you need help with the whip stitch, I do have a tutorial for that as well and it can also be found in the description below this video on YouTube. Now you're going to invert the cap and place brim number one over the crown with right sides together and then back stitch along the raw edge sewing all the way around the hat but again leave a bit of the brim unsewn so you can join these two ends later on just like we did with the crown. Okay, so here's what I have so far and you can see I've left some unsewn. Now set brim number two over the top of brim number one, again keeping right sides together like you see me doing right here. Okay. So it's probably a good idea to pop it right side out before you start this. I just think that'll be an easier way to do it. So now it's right side out and I'm going to lay brim number two over the top of brim number one. 
keeping right sides together, I'm going to start sewing there. Attach the two brims to each other with a back stitch. And here's how it looks when you're done. Clip the recently sewn seam like you see me doing right here. Connect the edges of both brims. Okay, so what we do is we pop it inside out and then we connect both brims right along that edge. Sew these together. Invert the cap, then flip the brim up and tuck the raw edge under like you see me doing in this next video. Okay, so that's what we have. We're going to flip it right side out. Okay, and then we're going to tuck that under inside the cap. Tuck it inside. You can see where we're going with this right now. It's starting to look like the finished product, but then I want you to turn it right side in or wrong side out, and then you fold this extra brim to cover your stitches. Hem along this tucked in edge using a whip stitch. And when you're done sewing this, turn it right side out like you see me doing in this next video clip. And boy, we are just about done. Look how cute that is. Even inside out, it's cute. And now we're going to turn it right side out. It's starting to look a lot like a bonnet. Press the bottom of the brim with your iron. It's optional, but you can now add some ribbon. Just stitch it in place at the center back. And then wrap it around to kind of measure it, cut it, and then stitch it together where my thumb is right at the back. You can flip the brim up like this for a casual look or leave it bonnet style, which I think is also cute. And your pepper doll can have fun in the sun. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll or vice versa? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer. And in my pattern alteration class, I'm gonna share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full, depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.